CataractCoach.com. When should we leave good enough alone? Now, this is an important question for all surgeons in all specialties. And the answer changes throughout your training and then in the years as you gain more experience. In the background here, I'm going to show you a routine cataract case. It's shown at twice normal speed, so we can hurry up and get through it. And the question about leaving good enough alone is when we see some fiber or opacity on the posterior lens capsule after we've already implanted the IOL. So we'll get to that part. But the case is otherwise a pretty routine cataract case for me. Now surgeons, when I was doing my medical school training, the general surgeons taught me that perfect is the enemy of good. Meaning that if you have a good result and you try to go after perfection, you may end up with a complication. You may end up with more issues. Now, this changes throughout your training, and I think for young doctors who are just learning cataract surgery, we see that often they're very reluctant to do too much polishing of the capsule. They're reluctant to um, touch the posterior capsule at all. They're very cautious, and so there's an abundance of caution when the experience level is low. And I think that's healthy, and I think that's normal. There's another saying that was told to me by a cardiothoracic surgeon. And mind you, we're just doing cataracts. But this cardiothoracic surgeon told me, he said, a young surgeon or inexperienced surgeon may be so aggressive that he'll kill you. And an old surgeon may be so late in his career that he'll just watch you die. So ideally, you want someone who's in the middle of that life experience of surgery. And that may hold true for ophthalmology as well. I think earlier on in my career, I was a lot more aggressive more of a cowboy, willing to try things that were, perhaps in retrospect, a little risky. Now I'm a lot more cautious. But my skills have also improved dramatically. Doing thousands of surgeries, tens of thousands of surgeries over the course of 20 years has really increased my skill set. And so now doing certain maneuvers I'm very comfortable with, whereas earlier in the career I wouldn't have been. Another good example is, how about a posterior capsule rexus? We've shown that here on the site before. We can do a posterior capsule rexus in an eye and not have vitreous prolapse, but for young surgeons who are just starting off, that seems like a pretty risky move. So here's the lens, we're loading it up. The technician had trouble loading it, so I told him, no problem, just hand it over to me. I'll load it up for you. And so we're happy to do that. That, by the way, is a great technician who tells you in advance, hey, I'm having an issue, could you do this for me? Instead of the surgeon being surprised. So I think the answer is if you're a young surgeon, the first few years of your training or first few years of your practice, it's okay to be more cautious. In fact, it's probably a good decision. And so you don't have to go for perfection in all of your cases. You want to have a beautiful result, a good result, a safe result for your patients, and don't take any undue or unnecessary risks. And as you get more and more experience, you'll be able to do things that require a higher level of technical skill. And you'll also hone your surgical judgment. And you'll know when something is reasonable to perform and when it's not. So in this case, we finished the cataract case. I'm sealing up the incision. And if you look there at the posterior capsule, I see just in the subincisional space, there's some lens fibers or opacities that are stuck there. So I'll adjust the microscope lighting. And we can see those little linear marks. We don't want to leave those. So let's show you the video now at normal speed. In fact, this is slow motion. This is half speed. I'm going to go in the eye with the IA probe, irrigation aspiration. We're going to lift up the IOL, go underneath it, and gently aspirate that opacity, that lens cortex. And then we'll get a good polish going here. And watch carefully. There you go. We grab the posterior capsule, let go very quickly. Recenter our lens, clean up the rest of the viscoelastic. We have a very nice overlap of the optic by that capsular rexus. The lens looks beautifully centered. You can see those are the Purkinje images lined up very nicely in the center of the lens and center of the rexus. And this patient had a beautiful result. So in this case, I will achieve more towards perfection. I'll lean that way to be a little more um, effort to go out of my way to achieve what I think is a perfect or near perfect result. But if you're starting off your career, don't sweat that. It's okay to have a very good result when you're less than very experienced and it, the patient will have a beautiful outcome nonetheless. So keep these lessons in mind as you perform your own cataract surgeries in your own practice 
and then you can have a beautiful result just like this. And finally, here at the end of the case, there's a limbal relaxed concision being made. This patient has just a little bit of astigmatism, about a half diopter root. I also want to remind you, go to cataractcoach.com. Please sign up for our free email list, a new video, new article every day in your inbox. Of course, it's free, and we don't miss a single day. You can also submit your video if you would like it reviewed, or contact us to suggest other topics. Thank you for watching.